Hi, I'm Randy Rice, one of the Integrated Solutions Specialists at Prairie Land Partners John Deere. As you look at getting prepared for your harvest operation, one of the things we'd like you to make sure is that you have the most recent software on your Green Star components. So today we would like to go through how to get the software downloaded from Stellar Support onto your computer and then onto a data card or a USB jump drive to put onto your display. first thing you want to do is open up an internet browser and go to www.stellarsupport.com. Once you click on that link, you need to go to North America, United States, and click on the Ag and Turf link. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a Downloads and Updates link. Click on that and it will take you to the software downloads page. Choose the 2630 display or 2600 display depending on which one you have on your operation. When you click on that link it asks you to run or save the file. You want to run this file. Click run again and it will open up the setup for the download the software. Please click next and then choose whichever display you have on your operation and you may choose more than one if you have more than one display on your farm. Once you select the display you're going to put to update click next and next again and then you have to agree to the license agreement. Click next and it begins installing the software onto your computer. Once this software is installed and you follow the prompts on the screen, it will ask you to put a desktop icon on your computer. You want to make sure you click yes and click next and then finish the install. Once you've completed the download from Stellar Support, this is the desktop icon we were talking about. If you double click on that icon, it opens up the GS Live update for your Green Star update. We recommend clicking the Next button and what that does is that will go out and ensure that your live update has the most recent software from Stellar Support for your display. As you can see there are no updates available for mine so this has the most recent software on there. If it does recognize that there is new software available, it may take a few minutes to put that on your desktop icon and then you can click the copy button to start the process of putting that software onto your compact flash card. Once you open up this box, the 2600 display is in here and it asks us to choose which drive that the card is in. My computer does not have a card slot to fit this card specifically, so I use an adapter. This one can be used for cards like this, maybe a card from your digital camera, and perhaps other cards. You can get these at most electronic stores in your area. We plug it into my computer and insert the card. Once it reads the card, we have to refresh so we can see where that is. On my computer it's the F drive. So we choose the F drive so that is where the update is going to go. Once we've selected our 2600 display and the correct drive, we click copy now. This may take approximately five to ten minutes to put this update onto our compact flash card. Once that is complete, you take the card and go to your display and insert it back into your 2600 display. At that point when it reads the data on the card it will recognize that there is a new software update available for your Green Star components. It gives you the option to click next to begin that update process and then it runs through till it is complete and at that point you have updated your Green Star components.